Hi everyone, I've been working quite a lot actually about upgrading the studio and I wanted to show you something that I've been working on more specifically how you can use a trick that I used to uh, save yourself some money and maybe get a better um, result. So let me duck out from in front of the camera and show you something that I have back behind the camera. So you, this is the same shot that I had before, but watch what happens when I hit this button. So that's my lower third. Uh, no big deal there. Looks a little translucent. Um, you can see part of the television, which eventually will have something on it. You're seeing a little bit of the lights on the other side. So um, you might be thinking, well, if it's got a translucent background, that's clearly the alpha gear module that you're using, or you're doing it in post, uh, except neither of those two are true. Let me show you um, just basically what I'm doing, and that is the control software for the A10 Television Studio HD, uh, which I got. So I have that, but let me show you what's going on here. So I have uh, the Apple TV. Um, that's the program that you're looking at right here. I also, let me put up the Mac screen here and cut over to that. And um, so with the Mac screen, you can see I've got ProPresenter up, and that's just my lower third. That's not an alpha channel you're looking at. You're looking at, again, the non-registered version. And it's just a black background with white text. But if I go um, back to this, we see the control there. Now look over here on the right hand side. On the right hand side we have um, the two downstream keys. I'm using both of those. So let me take you through the settings and actually let me do it this way. Uh, take the camera in. Actually Instead, I'm going to cut over to the camera, and then, using the DVE to push it over, I'm going to push over so that we can see the settings and see the background. So, here I am over here, and what I... Well, let me just go through it. First off, you'll notice that there are two keys here that I have employed. If I take out this key, you'll notice that the background goes away. Now it's kind of hard to read against uh, the lights that are right there. So especially the E and D down here are hard to read. But if I uh, put that key back in, it's easy to read. So what I'm doing is on downstream key 2, that's where the text is, and on downstream key 1, which is underneath it, I just have black. And I've tweaked the settings just a bit so that I get that outline. So in your situation, you might want to put the box behind the Luma keyed text so that you get just um, you get this effect, but you might want to make sure the box is adequately sized so that you can use it for lyrics as well. So it's not limited just to uh, nameplates. It could also be lyrics. So looking at the settings over here, let's, uh, let's start with key number two since that's the lyrics. So what I've got here is I've got the transition rate. Um, that's, you know see it dissolve in and out. That's 
a one second dissolve. Actually, that's a little longer than I like, but I just hadn't changed that. Fill source is the Mac, my output of ProPresenter. Key source, also the Mac, the output of ProPresenter. Uh, I don't have a mask on, but down here, let me show you what the clip and the gain do. So I'm on 69% clip and 100% gain. If I turn down the gain, you'll see that I lose brightness in the white. Let me turn that up. And if I turn down the clip, you'll see that the black starts showing up as I turn that down. So I've actually, uh, with the settings on this particular lower third, since it's all white and all black, I actually got rid of the logo too. Not advising that you do that, by the way. Pay for the software. It's good stuff. The worker's worth his wages and all. So let me just type that back in since I had that set before. 69% on the key. Now let's look up here at key 1, which again is that black background. So fill source, black. Key source, black. Now what I did was I used this mask feature here. Um, actually, before I tell you that, let me go down here. Clip. That changes the opacity here, so I do have some control over that. If I wanted only that much to show through, I can change it to 8.9%. So you see I've got that uh, gain. Also has something to do with it. So let's turn the clip off. Actually, I wanted to do that in reverse. Yep. So if I turn the clip all the way down and the gain all the way up, I get a solid black background. So instead, I didn't note exactly what I had on the settings, but and you'll see that they are interactive. So you can just play with those two to get the look that you want with this technique. Now, to mask, let me uh, try and remember how I have this set up. I think it is 9, yep, so that takes it all the way up to the top, and let me go to the right. So the numbers by default are 9 by 16, 9 top to bottom, 16 left to right. But that only takes it to the middle. So if I change this 9 to 0, you'll see that only crops it to the middle. So then I need to go negative. So I think it was negative 4.75. Yeah, negative 4.75 took it to where that was. So you can tweak these numbers. I quite frankly just played around with it until it had what I wanted. So uh, the left is a negative 11, so I'm going to call the right positive 11. And sure as anything, that's what it is. So you can see the settings here and how I can tweak that and uh, change how it looks over here. So that's how to get a better key using LumaKey with the ATEM Television Studio HD and ProPresenter.